Hi, welcome. We have a nice wallpaper, probably out of some kind of game. But the thing is, the topic of the video is, well, variety, pie wall, and the script that we made here on QTile. So if you want to have a look and you want to know a little bit more about scripting, this is the video. It's not needed per se. It's just, um, well, fun to see how things work. Now open, make sure you open with a editor of your liking, of your choosing. So open with another application. Maybe you need to do that, do this and say use as default for this kind of file. So basically you have what it needs to, to program to take a look. So let's zoom in a little bit. It's going to, let's go over the, the code. I've, um, this is try, trial number two. And I started from the top and went to the bottom, but maybe it's better to educate you going from the bottom to the top because the application actually starts here. So the application, if you're running this um, set pie wall and in the case that it's behind it, that it has minus H then or minus help, you're going to a function called usage. And a function usage is declared up here. It says, okay, if you want to know something about this application, then you are gonna print something. We're gonna print the name. We have declared it here, set pieable, and the version, and show people, okay, that's the version. As well, um, we'll use the poll paper of variety, a little bit text, and some explanations how it works. So that's what it does. So if we I better navigate to the proper place, Qtile scripts in here, right mouse click, open terminal, let's kill this thing. And we say, let's run set by wall and let's go all the way down. Usage means minus H. So when I type this behind the application, then it will give this text so it gives the name the name the version and let's scroll up again it will give us an echo which means an empty line and then pie wall will use the wallpaper for variety and so on and so on as you see the text is just displayed so that's a neat little trick to show people hey this is how it works same goes for the version so with the v it's going to tell you this kind of text and the version is up here as well somewhere. Here it is, version, that's a function that's been called and everything that's in between it is now, uh, well, between these two guys is shown. So that's that. And then there's everything else. So if it's not an H, it's not an F, a V, then you go and have a look at the function set wall and uh, sent, I'm sending over whatever is behind it. So it could be any of the guys that are not present in here, could be any of the letters, but only these letters will have an effect. So F, P, N, and U, which means or stands for variety. F is um, the, the, the favorite, yes. P is the, the previous and N is the next, meaning give me put this wallpaper in my favorite wall, um, folder, give me the next one, uh, the previous one, and give me the next wallpaper, or just update with the current wallpaper. So that's what we um, have made. So whatever is behind here, set wall one, and I stop with it. So before it's going to stop, before it's going to stop and stop, it's going to first go through the motions, go through the functions. So he's send up here, back up here. Well, if you're using functions, you need to put the functions up before you're using them. So they're always uh, one level up. Let's close the door. So what happens when you were on line 82? Whatever is behind it, and let's assume it's the normal thing. So it's an, an F for instance. If it's an F case and ASAC, so here it begins, there it ends. If it is, then set variety. So it's 
launched again, catapulted again to some term somewhere else. And set variety is another function. If this f minus f that's sent with it is the minus f e yes, is it equal? Is minus f equal to minus f? Yes, then you're going to run variety. Okay. If it's the previous one, then you're going to use variety minus p. And I've kept it very simple for myself to um, program this code. So it's the same thing, minus f minus p minus p minus n minus n. Um, that's this line. So we actually told this application now variety, give me the next one, give me the previous one, or give me a favorite. I put it in the favorite folder, basically. And then next thing is, we need to figure out what wallpaper we are using because we've just changed it. Next and previous, we've just changed it. We might have changed it, right? Not in the case of favorite actually, but okay. We're finding it, it anyway. Because we need to tell them the, the wall, the application Python PyWall, we need to tell them that's the wallpaper, okay? So we let's find the wallpaper after that. And finding the wallpaper is done in here. That's a variable and it's gonna read something. It's going to read this one. This code, this long line, has been fed into this variable. This contains this long line. So we know that the wallpaper that's being used uh, is that one. And that's because, of course, we are relying on variety to be there. We are relying that PyWall is there and things like that. Let's go back to Qtile, probably going to need it later on. Open it again. This one. Okay. So I know now what wallpaper I have. So find wallpaper. Then I'm going to sleep a little bit of rest. I did it because of some issues, I suppose. It's been a while since I made this one. And then set wall. Set wall, we go back up and this actually is going to run the application Python PyWall, which provides us wall. Um, if you don't know, just type it in, PyWall. Always interesting to go and have a look at this code in here and take a look at the walls, at the, at the walls, at the command. So user bin wall is provided with or from Python PyWall and all the rest. You see lots of stuff in here, but basically that's what you need to know. That's the application. Well, so the command, and then it's just man wall if he has it, and otherwise it's wall help or dash h. And it needs a minus i path to image gpg. And that's basically all it needs, and it's gonna do its thing with it. So that's great. So that's what we did in here. We said, okay, let's uh, set our wallpaper. And if that's done, you exit because the application is actually finished at that point in time. So we're actually exiting here, which means I just realized now that we don't need this one actually, but okay. The thing is, it goes through all the motions like this. And then there are two more things to, to tell. So we've done this one, that one, that one, that one. Here is something we have not discussed yet. And this one is this, everything is set. So these guys are here to, to ask people, hey, do you have wall installed the application wall? Does it exist? So type wall gives us user bin wall means it's installed. So this check, this line here is going to check if it's not installed, you put it just put the output of this thing in the rubbish bin, so that's Linux saying, saying throw it away. But if it's not installed, give the people the message, okay, echo, this script requires Python PyWall to be installed, etc., etc. So if we do sudo pacman, well, let's first do when things are working, <laughs> right? Let's do a set PyWall sh minus give me the next one then this is going to change, right? So let's do another one because this is a little bit, well, it's more obvious, all the colors, it's a little bit in the this kind of wallpaper. So these colors are now 
present. We can do a pipes and we can do a C matrix minus B and we do a alt shift U and this is what happens, right? So obviously it's working. So if it's working now, what happens if I do pseudo pacman minus R Python pywall? I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna say get rid of it. And then when I run it again, it says no, it can't run. So give me a next line. That's why it's blank here. This script requires Python pywall to be installed. Please install it and rerun the script. Okay, so that's one thing I'm missing, but I'm also could also be missing variety. Pseudo pacman minus remove variety. If we delete that one as well and rerun it, it says two lines. You require pywall, but also variety, and it just stops dead end in its tracks because of this line. If there is no wall and if there is no variety, then just stop, just exit everything. Nothing will work at that point in time. So that's the last check. So basically I need to get everything back. So minus R is going to be an S. And the other one minus R is going to be an S again. And everything is gonna work like this. Okay, so that's how we did it. And the why I remember we were trying to change the code internally in Python Py. So somewhere in here, in a line, something like that. But um, eventually said, okay, let's just make script. And I just had fun making the script. That's the thing uh, why we do Arch Linux, just having fun playing around with code and with, with desktops and all that. So this is then sharing our knowledge. That's, that's the point of Arch Linux, sharing knowledge, sharing our expertise. Um, yes, I'm not a programmer, so this might may be written awfully, I don't know, uh, but I just uh, tried, that's the point, just try uh, building some your own scripts and if it works, fine, it works, it's just, uh, super. But, uh, well, if there are tips, uh, I always am eager to learn about, um, well, scripting. All right, enjoy the video, enjoy Qtile. It's a little bit uh, difficult if you're a newcomer to Linux, but uh, never mind. The only thing you need to know is a keyboard shortcut, Alt Shift, Favorite, Next, P, and those guys will make sure you have Pywall running. All right. Enjoy.